what makes you think the second beast of Revelation 13 is the USA? Could it be the European un Union or China, Russia, India, or Japan? Why do you think that the second beast of Revelation is the USA? Well, Elizabeth, I have a, a video on that topic called the USA in Bible Prophecy. There are several reasons why the USA is the second beast of Revelation 13. Um, and I'll give you a couple of those reasons right now. Um, first of all, the second beast arises after the deadly wound of the first beast is healed. All right, now, if you do a study on the first beast of Revelation, Bible scholars for the, past, for the last hundreds and hundreds of years have clearly identified the first beast of Revelation as the papacy, okay, the Roman Catholic Church-State Union. Now, that's not an attack on Catholics. There's many Catholics that are saved, that love Jesus. But the system of Roman Catholicism is identified as the first beast of Revelation, all right, a.k.a. the Antichrist. Um, again, it's not the people, but it's a system that has a replacement for God's plan of salvation. They have a man-made system of salvation. They persecuted God's people. Over 50 million uh, lives were slaughtered during the Middle Ages by the papacy. And I can go on and on with all the descriptions of the papacy. But one of the descriptions of the papacy is that it would receive a deadly wound 1260 years after they became, after they came into power. Now, that, that year was 1798. And I would encourage you to watch the video on my channel, Hope Your Prophecy channel, called The Antichrist. And that'll break down all the qualifying descriptions of the Antichrist. But the deadly wound was actually received in 1798. All right, so according to Revelation 13, the second beast would arise after that deadly wound. All right, so that's one thing. We're looking for a kingdom that would arise after 1798. Now, all the ones you mentioned, uh, China, um, India, Japan, all of those are instantly disqualified because they did not arise after 1798. All right, a second characteristic is that this would be a worldwide power. It wouldn't be a small nation. It would be a worldwide power. All right, so that's two things that the USA accurately fulfills. It came into power after 1798. All right, I think the Bill of Rights was like 1806. Um, the USA was becoming a world power after 1798. Declaration of Independence was 1776. It took the USA a little while to gain power, but in the early 1800s, they were emerging as a world superpower. All right, it's clearly a worldwide superpower. Um, also, the second beast of Revelation 13 had two horns, and it started off as a lamb, all right, and it would later speak as a dragon. Now, it's interesting because the United States fulfills this perfectly. It is a lamb-like beast because it's unique from other nations throughout world history and that it had the principles of freedom, of both spiritual and political freedom. All right, that was very unique. That had never been uh, fully done before in world history. A nation with the characteristics of a lamb that had both political and spiritual freedom. All right, so those are a few of the reasons why the USA is the second beast of Revelation 13. If this video has been helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the next video for more clear Bible answers. And please consider becoming a Patreon for daily devotionals. May God lead and bless you on your journey.